page and today's video is going to be a review of the new Carly Bible and Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. I ordered this from the ABH website as soon as it launched and then I also decided to pick up this. This is the undressed five piece lip set. I'm super excited about both of these. They're both a part of the 2019 holiday launch which is so crazy because it's only October but literally every brand's holiday launches are just rolling out but um, I'm really really excited about both of these like just in general as far as holiday launches go so i will have both of these products linked in the description box we're going to be doing a first impressions review demo swatches all of that with the palette and then i'm also going to do regular swatches and lip swatches of all of these lippies in here so if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started all right so we've got the palette right here i am obsessed with this packaging we're gonna go ahead and start off with eyeshadow today so um the theme of this is just so on point for carly if you ask me the light pink white and gold theme is just Oh, so cute. So um, I think that the Unicarton itself is really, really nice. And then the palette actually matches the Unicarton. So it has the same packaging. It has a very glossy finish, which I personally really like because then it won't get dirty or if it does get dirty it'll be easy to just like wipe clean um and it's also the same size as the traditional anastasia beverly hills eyeshadow palettes which i personally am a huge fan of i think that it's nice when a brand like makes palettes all the same size because they fit together so well and it's just like aesthetically pleasing so um this is what the palette itself looks like we're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up here she is in all of her glory. I think this palette is super, super pretty. I was watching her reveal video actually, and they said that this palette actually got leaked, which is why they announced it like earlier than they had planned. Um, but we all know that ABH has been releasing one palette after another. We have the Norvina volume one from the Norvina collection. And then, which I did do a video on, I'll link that in the description box. And then we've got volume two and volume three, which I haven't even gotten a chance to play with these yet. And then I went ahead and got this one in the mail yesterday. So I am just like drowning in ABH palettes. So um, I'm gonna get to those other palettes as soon as as I possibly can but I really wanted to sit down and film with this one today so this has one two three four five six seven fourteen eyeshadows in each one I'm gonna or in in the palette 14 shadows in the palette I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these I personally love the ABH brushes that come in these palettes I think that they are super good quality and they are usually dual ended I think they all are dual ended but I love that they come with a brush because it's a freaking bomb brush so um, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys so we can see all of the shadows so here is the top row swatched on my hand this last shadow kind of like flopped when I swatched it so I'm just gonna go ahead and dip back into that and try again and see if that looks any better yeah that definitely looks better so those are the top row from top to bottom we've got Bali Bible Mandala 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 I'm not sure how that's pronounced I'm sorry Libra Jody OA and Bowie I probably butchered some of those names and I'm sorry if I did but um, those are the shadows right there just from looking at them right away it looks very cool tones very like taupey and like kind of gray these two shades look very similar in my opinion um, one is a little bit more glittery this one here has more like glitter in it but very similar shades so now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the bottom row which seems to have more like warm tones and like corals and reds here is the bottom row swatched on the back of my hand from top to bottom we have bear moo chai cindy stev aura and then my angels this row is definitely more like what i would wear on the day to day just because i like warm toned eyeshadows but i do really want to play with some of these cooler toned ones and i really want to use the show oa because she named that after the show the oa which i freaking love that show like i love it so much it's such a good show it did get discontinued which is so upsetting after season three um or season two season three I, can't, I honestly can't even remember was it season two i don't know it only has a couple seasons but um it was a netflix original show and it got canceled so hopefully they bring that back but this is a beautiful shade and i really just want to use it because it's pretty but also because it's called doa <laughs> so um anyway we are going to go ahead and get started my eyes are already primed with the matte 
paint pot in the shade painterly and we're gonna just dive right in all right so to start things off i'm gonna go into the shade bible which is this shade right here and i'm using a morphe jaclyn hill jh32 and I'm just gonna dip into that and then run that through my crease. So I was really light-handed with this shade just because I don't wanna go too dark too fast, but so far I'm loving it. I still have the sticker on the mirror. I'm like trying to look past the like logo, <laughs> but it's just a sticker. Um, okay, so, so far, so good. Now, what do I want to do? Mm, I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Bowie, which is this shade right here. And I'm gonna put this also in the crease, but keeping it a little bit lower and i'm probably also going to build this up in the outer corner as well i'm working super slow with the shade each time i lightly dip in i'm tapping off just because i don't want to go overboard too fast so i'm just dipping in like two light touches and then tapping off and then building up the pigment slow and steady it's a very cool tones i don't even know what kind of shade this is like it's kind of like a gray but it also has like a slight hint of like brown to it but it's very smoky either way you can see the difference between the eyes this one has the shade of bowie and this one does not so i'm gonna go ahead and do this on the other eye and i will be right back all right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take the brush that came with the palette. I'm gonna use the flatter side and dip into the shade Bible and run this um, along. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. Never mind. Forget I said anything. <laughs> I was gonna put it on my lower lash line, but I'm gonna put something else there, I think. Um, okay, so now that I have this base, I know it looks kind of crazy. This look is not gonna go with my shirt at all. Like, I was like, oh, I'll wear pink because the palette's pink, but this look is not gonna no okay um so we actually are going to use that brush though and i'm going to dip into the shade oa which is this really pretty glittery shade like i said named after the show which actually well i don't know if i want to say what it stands for in case you haven't seen the show i don't think it's like really a spoiler but um Maybe it is considered a spoiler, so I'm not, forget I said anything, but I highly recommend you guys watch that show, even though it did get canceled. It's like it, one of those shows where it's like an interdimensional mind game, and it's so interesting and crazy. It's so good. Um, so yeah, it's on Netflix. But anyway, I'm going to take that brush, and we're going to go into the shade OA, and I'm going to, tr I'm just going to go ahead and wet the brush, just for fun. Um... And we're gonna like pack this onto the lid. So I'm just gonna use my Too Faced Hangover Spray. Okay, this might be one of the prettiest eyeshadows I have ever put on my face in my entire life. I'm gonna go ahead and change my shirt really quick. I feel like I wore this shirt in a video like a couple weeks ago, so sorry, but this is like totally the vibe that I'm feeling right now. Okay, this eyeshadow is beautiful. It has like holographic glitter in it that you can actually see. Maybe it's not holo- well, it kind of- I don't know. Like, what is the definition of holographic even? But this is beautiful. Holy crap. I'm just gonna like do that again. I'm gonna pack it on my brush and then wet the brush again and just like add another layer and see how much- uh, magic I can get from this. I experienced like a teensy tiny bit of fallout, but nothing too crazy. Um, I'm gonna try this. I'm just taking the shade Jode, which is the one that's next to it, and I'm just gonna kind of pack that in the outer corner. This is like a metallic shade. It's, it is very similar. These are the two shades that I said were very similar. Um, but Jode doesn't have that like crazy crazy like glitter in it. Oh my god. I'm obsessed All right, so what I did was I went back into the shade Bible and then I ran that like in the crease right on this edge here and then I added a tiny tiny bit of bare which is this matte kind of like creamy yellow shade and just added that to the brow bone just to kind of soften the edge a little bit so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade Mandala, which is this one right here. <laughs> this one, it's like a duochrome 
purpley kind of blue shade these are like the two most like crazy shades in the palette in my opinion um but this one's really really pretty and i'm actually going to put that on my inner corner i feel so like grungy i'm going to use this little brush right here this is the jh42 from morphe and i'm just gonna pop that right on the inner corner i'm just gonna kind of like clean that brush off and then go into the shade bali and then pop that on my brow bone and then i'm going to take the e5 from the rose gold collection from bling brushes i'm going to go into the shade bible and then run this along my lower lash line all right so this is what the eyes are looking like so far i'm going to go ahead and pop on some mascara i'm going to use the stila extreme lash mascara and then i'm also going to use some lashes i'm going to use my very own lashes these are the d style lashes in the style page these are my collaboration with them i will have these linked in the description box in case you're curious and of course you can always use code page for 20 percent off so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then show you the finished eye look all right so here is the finished eye look i'm absolutely obsessed with the way that it came out definitely not my normal like warm toned pink or orange eye look i typically stay away from like the taupes and grays and blues just because i don't find that it's like super flattering on myself i just think that warm tones look better on me but i love the way that this eye look turned out i think it's so pretty my favorite shade that i used is oa i think that it is so stunning and i love this little pop on the inner corner like oh i just think that this eye look turned out so well um these lashes make this look even more dramatic than it already is so you definitely don't need the lashes but i think that it makes it very like Mm, I don't know. I can't even think of a word to describe it, but the mascara that I use, the Stila one, is amazing. If you are looking for voluminous lashes, this is your best friend. I was introduced to this mascara through my cousin Sally. It's her favorite go-to every single day mascara, and now I'm obsessed, and you literally don't even need lashes when you wear this, but y'all know I'm gonna wear lashes. So, um, yeah, this is how the look turned out. Let me guys know what you think. Like I said, I'm obsessed. Um, and I cannot wait to use this palette again and play with these, like, reddy, like, orangey shades. I want to use literally this entire bottom row in an eye look. Um, like, especially this shade Aura. So beautiful. So, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this look. Now I'm going to do some swatches of some lippies for you guys. So the palette retails for $45. I probably should have said this towards the beginning of the video, but the palette is $45. I think it's worth it. I love the quality of Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. I think that they are incredible. I think these ones are amazing. And I also love the formula in the Norvina collection, like these pro pigment palettes. I love the formula of both of these. I I think that this is an amazing palette it's very versatile um, it is different than any other palette that I have I don't think I could compare this to anything you could definitely dupe a lot of these shades but there are definitely some very unique shades I'm just like so obsessed with OA like I like love this palette just for that shade <laughs> So um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get into some lip swatches. This lip set here retails for $40. You get four liquid lipsticks and then one lip gloss. So I do think that that is a good deal because typically high-end lip products run you about 20 bucks a piece. So that would be two, but you're getting five different lip products here. I think the packaging is super cute. The aesthetic is just, they freaking nailed it. Nudes are my favorite kind of lip products. You guys know I love a good pinky nude. My all-time favorite lip color is Virgin by Morphe. Um, so when I saw there was a nude lip set, I knew I had to buy it. So um, here are the shades right here. These are the four liquid lipsticks. And then this is the gloss. The packaging on the gloss is slightly different. But I love this packaging. Um, it has like a kind of like a cream cap as opposed to the normal like metallic silver. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do some swatches really quick. All right, so here are all of the lip products swatched. These top three are regular matte liquid lipsticks. This one here is a metallic and then this one is the gloss on the bottom. All right, so this is the shade Sand. This is the shade on top. This is one I thought would be my favorite, but this is like the exact color of my skin tone almost. So it looks like I have concealer lips as people used to always 
throw around that term um so definitely not one that i would wear just like on its own i would definitely deepen this up by either mixing it or using a lip liner or, or something they don't have a specific pleasant scent they just kind of smell like a liquid lipstick i don't think that they are scented um but it did dry down to be very matte it's very comfortable it's not like cracking and whatever like it's actually still very comfortable and feels almost like chalky like it's like very velvety smooth so this is the shade sand all right so this is the next shade right here this one is called peachy this is a very like pastel very light still kind of looks a little bit odd on my skin tone um but and especially with this look i feel like this is more of like a summery lip but it's still really pretty like i said wouldn't wear it with this lip I mean this eye look I feel like I look kind of mismatched but it is still really a pretty color and I think on a lighter skin tone this would look fabulous so this is the shade peachy this next shade is called on mute this is the deepest of the lip colors I think that this lip color is super super pretty I like it a lot more on than I thought I would just based on the swatch I think that this looks really cute with this eye look um, I think that it's nice and cohesive so this is the shade on mute Okay, so this next shade is called Beaming. This is the metallic one. This looks insane on my lips. Um, I don't know that I would ever wear this lip color like this, but I could definitely see myself putting this like in the center of my lips on top of another lip product, but um, mm, definitely not on its own, but it's really pretty. I just wouldn't ever wear something like this, so <laughs> this is the shade Beaming. Here is the final shade swatched on my lips. This is super, super pretty. This is a very glittery gloss. It has a nice like pinky, peachy kind of shift to it. It has glitter in it. Like I said, I can feel it the slightest bit. Like I feel the tiniest, tiniest. Sorry, hello. <laughs> um, I can feel the tiniest bit of grit from the glitter, but it's hardly noticeable at all and it's only if i like really really press my lips together but other than that i love this lip color so much this actually might be my favorite shade from the set so this is the lip gloss in the shade summer vibes i'm kind of confused by the name because it's october and we're going into the holiday season but I don't really know. All right, you guys. So that was today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Overall, I love everything that I tried out today. I think that the palette is a definite must. I'm going to be reaching for this a lot. I can already tell. I'm already like so excited to play with these more like orangey shades. I think that this is a great palette for fall. Um, it's a very like well-rounded palette. I think that it's very cohesive while still having a ton of variety. So so um, if you are a fan of Carly Bible or if you just like the way this palette looks, then I definitely would recommend it. I think it's for sure worth the $45. And then the lip set is really, really pretty. You don't need that many nude lip colors. They are all very different in my opinion. Um, I feel like this one has dr like gotten darker as it's dried. But um, overall, I think this is a very well-rounded palette. You've got some cooler toned lips. You've got some warmer tones, some matte, some metallic, some gloss so i think this is a very nice um lip set i don't think that it's going to be flattering on every single skin tone i don't think every single shade will be flattering on every single skin tone i don't think that these two top shades were very flattering on my skin tone but um you can definitely mix and match you can make it work um i love the formula of the abh liquid lipsticks um and glosses so overall i am super super happy with everything like i said these products will be linked in the description box if you have any other requests for videos or anything like that any holiday things that you want me to review let me know in the comments down below i love you guys so so much i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye